with their sufferings, and we already mentioned one breathing, and people will have to read your book to get all the other very helpful steps. What would you like anyone dealing with pain to learn and take away after they've read your book? <laughs> That's a great question. I think that the lesson that I've learned over, you know, almost 15 years of practice and working with thousands and thousands of people is we are our own best healers. And, and the, the, the best tool, you know, the strongest medicine or the best procedure, the, the, the greatest technology that we have is really within ourselves. And, and once we, we realize how to utilize what's inside of us to, to make us better and to, to heal, you know, what's been, what's been damaged or broken, once we... We embrace that and that we take charge of our, our lives as opposed to giving all the control away to the doctors and the men. Hey, Jen, have you seen my little Dorrit anywhere? Your what? Little Dorrit. Have you seen my copy of Little Dorrit? Yes. No. Which one? Uh, it was on my desk. It's not in my bag. It's probably one of the boxes. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know where we packed the can opener? Um, no. I'm not sure. Are we cooking? Charlie, uh, Jen and I are going to Palace. If you're around and feel like coming, um, you can meet us there, or you can uh, uh, disregard, cancel that. But I'll talk to you later. What? Couple time. We just moved in. It's couple time. You can have your play date with Charlie tomorrow. I am officially exhausted. I feel like I'm pregnant with a litter of samosas. You know they invented zero? Hmm? India. Indians invented zero. Roman numerals don't have a separate sign for zero. The Europeans got it from the Indians. It's essential to all modern math. You can't even do algebra without it. But when the first crew from the British East India Company heard about it, 
they thought that it disproved the existence of God. And they went on this crazy rampage, and rape and murder. And so the captain of that expedition, <laughs> no, I'm just trying to remember. Um, right, he, he was the one who decided that no one must ever know about it. And so it was like 80 years before it ever made its way back up to Europe. 80 years. <laughs> Why are you laughing? No, it's incredible, incredible story. Mm -hmm. I didn't know before. I didn't know it before. So. <laughs> <laughs> just, that's incredible. You are so smart. Yeah. How much of that one is actually true? All of it. Mm. Essentially, well, more or less. You are such a liar. I can't believe I'm shacking up with this dishonest man. You know I'm really gonna miss? Nancy. Nancy, exactly. It's really tearing me up inside. Poor Paul. Do you think that in order to ease the transition, you could blast Prokofiev at 3 a.m. and leave your toenail clippings all over the coffee table for days and days? Oh, Paul, I'll even leave my used tampons floating in the toilet. It'll be like she's in the next room. Hmm. You do that? I like you, Jen. I like you too, Paul. <laughs> question like that. Fate was, by definition, that which could not be avoided. And if it is a really shitty fate, like Oedipus is, uh, well, that, that just, that sucks for him. <laughs> so, what do you guys think? I mean, is it fair to punish someone for Something that it is preordained for them to do? Ah, oh. oh, Sophia. What's your policy on incompletes? Wow, that is just really encouraging. Um, <laughs> it's nice to hear everyone's keeping their options open. Okay, my policy on incompletes is that I'm kind of a dick about them. Uh, I'll give you one if you have an airtight excuse but your story has to be pretty, pretty impressive. Okay? All right. That's it, we're out of time. See you guys on Friday. Paul, I am sure I cannot express to you how tired I am of having this conversation. Did you or did you not march in here four weeks ago and announce that you had turned a corner? I did. And? And it's fine. I'm just, uh, it's slow going. Evidently, you have not taken the substance of our conversations to heart. Let me see if you know the words. What do I say next? Come on. You come on. What comes next? Um. First, you disarm me by telling me how much you admire the work I did as an undergraduate. Correct. Then? And then you remind me sternly that I have been through with my coursework for nearly two years and that if I don't turn in some chapters soon... By Christmas. By... By Christmas. That, you, know, you will have to seriously consider... I will almost certainly. That you, all right, that you will almost certainly recommend that I uh, be asked to withdraw from the program. Very good. Apparently you were paying closer attention than you let on.
Come on, babe. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to wake you. What's the matter? I can't sleep. Come back to bed. work tomorrow. Tomorrow morning. Don't worry about it. Just tell me what's the matter. Just... Do you want me to tell you about the dark crystal? My lady hawk? Lady hawk. your eyes. In medieval France, there once lived a young man with a mouse. The mouse was a thief and he was about to be executed. Nancy, hi, it's Paul. Listen, sorry to bother you, but uh, I'm calling because I think, I'm prob pretty sure I left a, a book in the apartment, uh, my hardcover copy of Little Dorrit, Charles Dickens. Uh, I probably left it in the living room on the table, but it uh, might be on the floor in my old room. Anyway, uh, I really need it, so if you could let me know when it would be convenient to come by and get it, that'd be great. Um, Give me a call. Thanks a lot. Nancy, hey, it's Paul again. Uh, sorry to bombard you with messages, but I don't know if I mentioned the uh, little door the book I left is pretty urgent. I uh, actually need it for my dissertation, so it's not like a regular book. If you could let me know uh, when would be a good time to come by and get it, that would be great. It is incontestable that the fragments of her work that have found their way into the popular memory are not jewels of realist description. Realist description being, of course, what Eliot is most noted for. But general humanist observations, such as the much beloved remark about what lies on the other side of silence. This much is no surprise. Jewels of realist description can hardly be expected to retain any sense outside their supporting context. Indeed, the relentless particularity of realism, the constraint implied by that very particularity, is one of its most defining characteristics. Banish is looking very elegant tonight. It's very delicate. I actually want to sprinkle butterfly kisses all over her stomach until she falls asleep. 
You know what I'd really like to do is dribble some champagne down her naked leg and drink it from between her toes while having a jacuzzi with her. I want to have a contest to see who can kiss the softest. So, um, why aren't you hovering over there with the rest of the ass kissers? Bannister is displeased with me. I'm way behind. Tonight I am to be seen but not heard. Hmm. I understand that. Hey, did um did Margaret stop by after class today? Yeah. Nice. Did she talk about her calves again? She mentioned her calves. Fuck, that is so hot. Why do the girls in my class just want to sleep with the other undergrads? Idiots. Charlie, I left little Dort at the old apartment. Are we not talking about Margaret's calves anymore? No, I left my little Dort at Nancy's. So? It's my study copy, my hardcover. I left it behind during the move. So buy another one. That swine is piss. I can't. I know. They don't seem to. I had all my notes in it. Important annotations. What do you mean? You, you wrote in the book? Yeah. All of your notes? No, of course not all my notes, but uh, it has a lot of uh, crucial new material, new important material in there. And I decided to rearrange things in a certain way that it's going to affect the entire the whole. So you wrote an outline. So do it again. No, it's not just an outline. It's important. You call Nancy. I called her three times today. Maybe she's really busy. Busy? Doing what? Huffing Scotchgard? Taking naps? She's the least busy person on the planet. You don't have to freak out about it. How am I freaking out? I'm not freaking What out. I mean is, it's not a big... Ah, hold on. That might be very... Uh, uh, text from Jen. Hmm. She's going to Donovan's. Feel like getting a real drink? Are you fucking kidding me? I feel like utter dog shit. I might barf in the tub. At least you don't have to collate epidemiological studies all day. Where are you even up? I need my book. Well, <laughs> it's okay. You'll get your book. Well, why hasn't she called? It's only been two days. Try to relax. But I can't do anything without the notes. The new argument, the new material. Why didn't you type them out? I didn't need to. I had everything down. Besides, handwriting has a certain ineffable... Fuck, I don't know. Oh, I need you to call CLP and uh, switch the name on the electric bill today, okay? Will you do that? Yeah. Get it. has the book. Very good. Problem solved. Nancy, hello. It's Paul. I got your message. 
thank you so much. That is so great. I can come and get it anytime today or this evening. Just give me a call. Thank you. Bye. got squirrels living in the walls. The walls are teeming with rabid, bloodthirsty squirrels. You're a squirrel. I'm not kidding. They are nesting in the walls. I heard them. Squirrels, huh? Called her four times today. I left messages. I texted. And? And nothing. So, finally, I got on the bus and went over there. You went to Nancy's? I rang the doorbell, I knocked, no answer. But I'm sure I saw movement in that house. I know she was home. Why didn't she answer the door? I have no idea. To torture me, I guess? Oh, nobody's torturing anybody. Nancy's kooky, but she's not malicious. She's worse than Hitler. Fucking hillbilly. Ah! What? Ah. Oh. What? I grated my finger. I got blood in the cheese. Listen, how about this? When does Nancy work at the restaurant? Tuesday through Friday. And Sunday. Sometimes Saturday. She works every day? Not Monday. Jeez. Well, why don't you just text Nancy to bring the book tomorrow and I'll pick it up on my break. Really? Sure. But, I mean, I don't need you to fight my battles for me. I'm fighting them with you. <laughs> Good. Problem solved.
How's it going? <laughs> what are you doing here? Bitch! I don't understand. Is she gonna give it back or what? I have no idea. She was being a super vague defensive cunt. God, it's cold. Did you, uh, did you impress upon her how important this is to me? I really don't think she cares how important it is to you. Well, what am I supposed to do? She's never gonna call me again. Do I go to the restaurant? I don't think that's a good idea. She's already all pissed off that I showed up. She's fucking with us at this point. Were you being really mean to her or something? Oh, Jesus Christ. No, it's not my fault that she's being so mean. Don't put this on me. Well, I... I don't know what to do. I mean, they're just notes, right? I mean, I'm sure you'll be able to... reconstruct them if you try. That's not the point! That's not the point. The point is, it's my book. Mine. I've been imminently reasonable, but at this point, it amounts to stealing. She is stealing from me. Of course it's your book. Nobody's disputing that. But it seems as if Nancy's gonna be as big a bitch about this as she possibly can. And what's right isn't necessarily what's best. Wouldn't you say? Seriously, break your thumbs. Breaking Nancy's thumb. Fact. Seriously, what do I do about this? What might one reasonably do in this situation? Well, for starters, you can stop being such a baby about it. Intimidate her, man. Just tell her you're gonna punch her in the vagina. She's a freaking little elf woman. Just put the pressure on her. It won't work. Nancy is insanely stubborn. This one time, we'd only been living together a few months, I told her that if she didn't wash her dishes, I was gonna throw them all out into the street. And they've been sitting there for like a week, stinking. I was mostly joking, you know? She gets up, she collects a bunch of plates out of this sink that belong to her. She walks outside and smashes them in the street, one at a time, slowly. Then she comes back in and never says another word about it. That's insane. Yes, that's insane. She actually did that? More or less. I mean, to be fair, uh, it wasn't that cut and dry, but... Fuck that, there. no. Fucking bluffing paper tiger diva bullshit. You still have the keys to her place? No. All right, we're gonna go get this fucking thing. What? Yeah, we're gonna go get this fucking book right now. This is stupid, come on. Oh, what if she isn't home? Then we have a relaxing drive around sunny New Haven. Come on. Come on. It's a little late to go. Better remorse than regret. You're okay to drive, right? <laughs> Takes money to make money. Come and roll by. See us. Just for a second. Why are you whispering? Listen, I'm sorry to bother you, but I am right in the neighborhood. Could I stop by real quick and get my book? It's 1122. 
I know. I'm a... Uh, yes, I understand what time it is. But like I said, I'm right nearby, so if I could just swing... Really at home right now. What do you mean that you're not really at home? It means I'm not available. Really? That's strange, because it looks like all your lights are on. What? Listen, hey, no, why don't you just grab the book, and I'm coming to the door in about 30 I'm seconds. Are looking in my windows? Oh my god, you fucking... Uh, I'm not looking in your windows, I'm parked at the curb. This I... is the last time you fucking spy on me, man. No, I'm gonna get a what? fucking restraining order, you hey, fucking Nance, sick it, fucking no, psycho god, fuck. God damn it! What the fuck? She's freaking out, man. Shit! What the fuck? Uh... Ah! Alright, this isn't good. <laughs> nah, she's not gonna answer. She's not in. God. Nancy! Nancy! Nancy, just give me my book. Throw it out the window. I just... Just give this book. fucking book back! Nancy, be reasonable. Just give me my book. Just go bang on the fucking door, man. Don't take this shit. Why are you just standing there? The squirrels last night. Told you. It's pretty annoying. Will you call the landlord? No, but you can. And you can also call CLP today and get the electric bill switched, okay? Jen? Uh. Last night, uh, Charlie and I dropped by Nancy's place. When? 11.22. And? Uh, didn't really... Uh, you know, we drove over and saw that she was home and I called and asked if I could get the book. And, well, in a nutshell, she freaked out and called me a psycho and hung up. Huh. Wow. That was kind of stupid. Well, I guess that's it then. I'm really sorry. Right? I have to blow my nose. Right? That's it, right? I mean, you shouldn't have done that. In retrospect, it was a bad idea, but that has nothing to do with anything. It's still my book. She's probably tearing it into little pieces right now. I'm sorry, but you have to let this go. It's done. Dropping by on someone unannounced is impolite, I guess, but it's not on a par with stealing. Jesus Christ, if you and Charlie showed up on my doorstep drunk in the middle of the night, I'd be pissed off that too. That has nothing to do with the fact that she still has my property. If she doesn't cooperate, then I'm gonna go and talk to the cops. Paul, this has gone too far. I can't support this anymore. I withdraw my support. Fine. Um, you won't hear another word about it.
Un, de, doar. Paul Brawley, pleased to meet you. Please, have a seat. So you go to school with my nephew? Yeah, Charlie and I, we're in the same program at Yale over there. Right. How's that treat you? Oh, fine. Um, Charlie is really a bright guy. He does great work. So, I hear you're having some trouble with your roommate. Uh, former roommate, that's right. Um, what happened is uh, I moved out a couple of weeks ago, and I left something behind in the old apartment. What'd you forget? Uh, a uh, book. A rare book? No. Um, the book itself is easily replaceable, but I had some notes written in it. Personal stuff? Uh, no, for my dissertation. Um, it's called uh, No Innocent Men, Structures and Theories of Penology and Government in Charles Dickens' Little Dorrit. And uh, you don't need to know that, but I guess... Uh, notes, huh? They're pretty critical. Why won't your roommate give it back? Does, does he need it for something? Uh, she, no. Uh, she could not possibly need it for anything. Um, she's, I think she's just keeping it out of spite. What's she got to be spiteful about? I have no idea. Um, she's just a creature of hate, I think. This is an ex-girlfriend of yours? Not at all, just a roommate. Well, to be honest, there's not much I can do here. You just have to try to reason with her. But she won't allow that. She won't talk to me. I mean, isn't this stealing you? Isn't this illegal? Did she say she wouldn't give you the book back? No, she said I could have it, but... Well, well then... Uh, but you have to understand this... Paul, the only question here under the law is, is what can you prove? And at this point, all you can prove is that she's dicking you around. That's not illegal. But, no. But it's like she is holding me hostage. I need this book to finish my thesis. <laughs> She is single-handedly destroying my academic career. That's wrong. What she's doing is wrong. Isn't it? Sure. It's wrong. Does that make you feel better? Deliberate choice. Are the result of deliberate choices made. The result of deliberate choices you work with a piece of shit. You're stupid, you're noxious, and you will, you will die alone. What? What? What are you doing? I'm eating. Did you call CLP and get the electric bill switched? No. So what did you do today? Nothing. 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 So how long is this nothing going to go on for? I don't know. Paul, we had a deal. What? I'm not working in the hospital every day because I like it. I'm, not, I'm just trying to eat my dinner. Your funding runs out in seven months. Seven and a half. Paul, you can't just stop. I know that. So you're going to work tomorrow? Difficult to say.
Hey. Said hey, Nancy. What do you think I'm gonna do? I just want the book. Why don't you just go away? Listen, I'm sorry about the other night. I didn't mean to scare you. You didn't scare me. I just need my book, okay? I told you to go away. I'll wait on the steps. I'll wait across the street if you want me to. Just go inside, get the book, throw it out the window, and you'll never see me again. Why are you dragging this out like this? Why don't you just end it? Why are you dragging it out like this? Why don't you just end it? I... What are you... Look, come on. Um, here, I'm gonna stand right here while you go in and get the book. How do you know I haven't thrown it away? Have you? Nancy! I want you to know that I despise you. I disliked you the first time I met you because your hair is stringy and you smell weird. But the more I got to know you, the more I came to understand that there is something willfully hostile about the way you interact with people and that all the things that make you unattractive and grating are the result of deliberate choices and that you make those choices because you are a worthless, despicable shit. You're stupid and obnoxious and you're gonna die alone. Somebody put a dead bird in my mailbox yesterday. What? Dead sparrow. Pink ribbon around its neck. In my mailbox. Why? Fuck if I know. Stupid <laughs> asshole neighborhood kids hopped up on meth. Fuckers. Everything's coming apart. I'm all out of ideas. Nancy isn't gonna... Stop. Stop. Just, you, you, okay. Listen, you've been going about this whole thing totally the wrong way. Nancy's a fucking fruitcake. You, you can't approach her like she's a reasonable human being. And you have to understand, you can't reason with somebody who's unreasonable. You, you can be as rational, as reasonable, as right as you want to be. None of that counts for shit against crazy. You could be a fucking supreme master of logic and rhetoric, but crazy bitches, they don't give a fuck. Yeah. I mean, what are you... What are you saying? I'm saying it's time to make a choice. Choice one, accept the book is gone, smooth things over with Jen, move on with your life. And choice two? Stop dicking around, take your book back. What do you think I've been trying to do? No, no, take your book back. You've been asking for it. I'm saying you show up on Nancy's doorstep with a fucking crowbar. Are you kidding me? Listen to me. Do you want your book back or do you want Nancy to win? I want my book back. Then it's time to graduate to Nancy's level. To generate to Nancy's level. Semantics.
I'm meeting Charlie for a drink later. Sounds pretty incredible. Can I take the car? Sure. Try to stay out of trouble, all right?
So, how's Jen handling it? She is expressing her support via icy silence and frequent door slamming. How's your class? Sick leave last week. Sick. Uh, start again tomorrow. So what, what have you been doing? Writing my thesis. What have you really been doing? Daydreaming about mutilating Nancy. Like what? There's one where she's sitting in a chair staring at a circular saw. Uh, the saw is on a high speed and she's hypnotized by the blade. Her face is just inches from it. And I walk up to her all casual and nudge the back of her head, almost like an accident. Her face bounces off the blade and she falls onto the floor with a giant gash of pukes up blood all over the place, just rivers of it. And she's not screaming, and she can't, because of course she's choking on the blood, but she would be if she could. I made some food, you should eat something. I'm not hungry. We have to eat. What time is it? 4.30. I missed my class. Did she know it was you? What? You said that she knew it was you in her apartment. How do you know? I know. Did she say your name? Do you identify yourself? She knows what I look like. You said she called the cops. She did. Then why aren't they here? If she knew it was you, they'd be here. Eat some food, it's just soup. Where's Jen? I don't keep track of Jen. You want a cigarette? Sure. What's in the bag? I ran into a couple of little girls playing in the street on my way over. Collected their kidneys. Kidneys? I'm gonna eat them later. Oh. Are you ready? Can I finish my cigarette first? I'm afraid not.
So did anybody read the Aeneid? Anybody got anything to say about Virgil? Russ? What happened to your face? It's okay, Russ. I don't have anything to say about Virgil either. Class dismissed. This class dismissed means go home. I'll see you Friday. go out with Rachel for a little bit. I'm going to take the car unless you need it. No. Okay, I'll be back later. What's this? What's this? Open it. I've expected there to be more notes. 
How did you get this? Uh, doesn't matter. How did you get this? I went to Nancy's and I let myself in. <laughs> you went to Nancy's? You went into her house? God, Jen, that was so stupid. Paul. What if she had been there? Well, she wasn't there. And I got your book and now you have it. She could have been. You didn't know. She is capable of anything. I called the restaurant. She was at work. I don't know why you didn't do the same thing. I... Ah. Where are you going? Running. Paul? Sit down. I can understand why you're angry. But you can't continue like this. Yes, Nancy hurt you. You did break into her apartment. I've been breaking. But it's over now. You have your book. You have to let this go. But what about Nancy? What about Nancy? Forget about Nancy! Nancy's done! There is nothing you or I could do to even the score. It's over, so now you can stop being insane! There was only one thing to be done, and I did it! Problem solved! You think this is about the book? We are so far beyond that now! I'm sorry, did you just actually say that we're so far beyond that? You're it? missing the point! What is the point? I got you your fucking book! What more do you want? I want you to be on my side. I am on your side. No. No, you're not. I want to help you. How can I do that? I don't want your help. I don't want you to fix me. I want you to see my position. I can see your position, but- No buts. Say I understand. I do understand. But 30 seconds, 30 seconds of unqualified empathy is all I want. If I give you 30 seconds, will you stop all this nonsense? I'll give you an hour. Shit, I'll give you a day. Does that make you feel better? All I want is 30 seconds. Can you do it? Fine. Okay. Go. Christ, this is ridiculous. I'm not going to do this anymore. God, you look just awful. What's going on? I don't know. I haven't been sleeping well. Well, do you have anything for me? It's not organized properly. Paul, what is happening to you? I've been having complications. Uh, I just need a little bit more time. It happens. I mean, it happens to everyone. If you do not have your completed chapters, go home and gather what you do have. Your notes, your drafts, whatever you've got. And then come back this afternoon and we will figure out a way to dig you out of this hole. What, what do you mean? Go get your materials, bring them back to me, and we will figure a way forward. I am here to help you. Um, like I said, I'm... They're, uh, I don't, they're not um, properly organized, so I don't. Paul, what have you been doing these last two years?
working. That's it, I have done my best. I will take this up with the committee. I had high hopes for you, Paul. But you're a waste of my time. Are you working? Uh, I was, but, um, you know, I can take a break for a minute. Do you want, um, you want something to drink? I've got, um, uh, water and, um, oh, uh, I've got water. Do you, do you want water? No, I'm just gonna stay a minute. Sure. Um, well, the offer stands. Do you, uh, you want to sit down? Uh, yeah. All right. So what's going on? I think Jen is going to leave me. What makes you think that? Um, things have been pretty bad. And uh, I'm wondering if I haven't made a mistake. Did she say something or something? Well, not exactly, but we... I don't know. Bannister is dropping me. Did I tell you that? I might get kicked out of the program. Wait, what? Bannister's dropping? What do you mean she's dropping you? Well, she said that I am a waste of her time, that she's not working with me anymore. That's not good, Paul. That's really, really, really not good. I know that. Jesus Christ. But you know what this means? Nancy wins again. Destroys my relationship, my career with total impunity. Jesus Christ, Paul, I, I can't. I can't sit here and listen to another monologue about Nancy right now, okay? I've got, I've got a deadline in two days and I've got my own advisor to worry about. How could somebody so stupid be so brilliant? I can't understand For it. For fuck's sake, Paul, Nancy is not some kind of evil super genius. The only reason she's winning is because you won't take responsibility. Sack up, man. Take some fucking responsibility. I'm, I'm, I can't listen to this anymore. I, you've got a Nancy problem, you've got to deal with it. I, I've got enough shit to do. I've, I've got work to do, bro. I've got work. I can't. I can't listen to this over and over again. You're going to have to deal with this on your own. What? I'm sorry I had to yell at you. Just, you know, relax for a while. Go, take, take some time. Let things assimilate. Relax. Just go home. Talk later. What? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Marco Polo. Hi. Is Nancy Hobby working today? What do you want? Uh, I was thinking about a cheeseburger. Um, oh, don't you usually take the beverage order what for... What are you doing here, Paul? I want to talk to you. What about? I want to talk to you. So you keep saying. Two minutes. That's all I ask. 
We don't have anything to talk about, Paul. Well, fuck you. I'm getting the manager now. No, wait, wait, wait. What? I will give you one hundred dollars for two minutes of your time. And then you'll never see me again. Okay. Give me the money. No. We have to talk first. Half up front. Fine. Let's go inside. Can I have my money now, please? Jen and I are splitting up, I think. Did you know that? And I'm getting kicked out of school. That sucks. Yes, it does. Okay, well, if that's it, can I have my other 50 now, please? You've destroyed everything, Nancy. Everything. Are you happy? I don't know what you're talking about. My life is shit! Is that what you wanted? It's not my fault that your girlfriend broke up with you and that you lost your job. Yes, yes it is. Why didn't you give me my book back? Your girlfriend broke up with you because you didn't have a book? I can't, I just, what you did was wrong! Fuck you! You think your life got all fucked up because I didn't give you some book? I'm busy, man. I'm working 60 hours a week at this shithole, and you know full well my mom's still in the hospital. You think I like spending all my money on fucking medical bills for that bitch? I do not. So look, I feel real terrible that your, your copy of fucking Little Dorrit wasn't my number one priority. You beat me with a baseball bat, Nancy. Don't you think that was a little excessive? Okay. Your two minutes are up. Give me the other 50. Admit it. Admit your guilt. Tell me you were wrong. I'll admit it for another 100. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Stupid? Somebody attacks me, I'm gonna defend myself. Somebody breaks in my house, I'm gonna defend myself. I'm sick of you, Paul. Give me the other 50. This was way longer than two minutes. I deserve more. Give me your jacket. What? Your jacket. Give it to me. Why? Because I want it. Nancy! Wait! Nancy! All I wanted was my book back. How can you not be to blame? It doesn't make sense. Admit it. You're the one who's wrong. Please. Tell me you were wrong. Okay, Paul. I was wrong. I shouldn't have done what I did. Does that make you feel better? <laughs> 